right? So you ended the marriage? Huh? Yeah, I ended. You it. said fuck right? that yeah, shit. Yeah, because and then another thing, it was like okay, so <laughs> at that point, I got a baby, right? Yeah. And he was out because he had this idealistic way. You want me to stay at the house and raise raise the baby, and you want to go to work. I I was a stay at home mama. I did not like that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I did not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to lose my career. I had to leave my career behind and become a stay at home parent. I didn't like that. So then I started learning real estate. See, I'm a, when I say I'm going to do something, yeah, yeah. I'm a motherfucker that do it. Yeah. So I taught myself how to trade in the stock market. Mm -hmm. With all that time, I sat there and I first, I wrote my first book when I was pregnant after I had to sit down. Mm -hmm. I wrote my five components of love book, mm -hmm. pregnant. Then after I had the baby and uh, wasn't working, I sat down for like, 10 hours a day teaching myself how to trade currencies in the stock market. Mm -hmm. But I, it, ain't, it ain't like I had the money, the disposable money to just do it like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, but I taught myself how to do it. Then I also taught myself how to do the real estate, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I would sit down for 17 hours a day. Damn. Seriously, 17 hours a day. And I would be going through videos, taking notes and everything. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I studied 17 hours a day for 30 days. And I, I said, okay, I'm gonna do wholesale because I ain't got no money to do all this Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. So I started off wholesale. So I learned how to do subject tools and I learned how to do foreclosure. Oh, so shit. I went and got the foreclosure list. And I put my baby, who was only a couple months old at the time, mm -hmm. I got in my car and I started riding around knocking on doors. Within two weeks of getting out there, my first deal was 10 that, that's right. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The queen, the queen, queen make it. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to another edition of the No Stingy Energy Podcast, where we talk wealth, relationships, business, entrepreneurship, all of the things. But today, we got a special guest. We do. You know what I mean? We got the queen maker. The queen maker in the building, Priscilla. Listen, my name is Byron, real estate investor. You know, do a bit, little bit of creative finance, fix and flip, new construction, new to the build to rent space. Still excited about it, even though they be the city, boy, they be on some bullshit, but it's cool though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's me. Oh, what's going on, what's man? What's up, what's up? Well, Neil Parker, real estate investor, entrepreneur out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Been investing in real estate since 2016, full-time entrepreneur 2020. Do all things real estate, but I enjoy cash flow and I enjoy teaching people about it. And I'm ready to talk about it today. We got a lot to talk about. Man. Yeah, we got a different perspective, man. One I never heard of. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She breaking down the men. Yeah. She got a nice book out there. That's a fact. 42. Shades of Men. Well, 40, we just 40, added. We just yeah, added 41. one. Yeah, it's 41. It's 41 <laughs> Shades of Men. Yeah. Plus a bonus. Yeah, coming a soon. Bonus. Coming soon. Yeah. And I, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm not in the book. I don't feel like. <laughs> you, you're different. You're a different breed. I don't feel like I made it to the book. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to find out today if I made it to the book. You okay. think you made it to the book? I don't think I made it. I don't it. think I'm in that joint. Man, but man. how you, you doing, Priscilla? I'm fantastic. Fuck. Now, 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 you already got somebody calling you, asking you where you at? All right. <laughs> I think you in the we book. Can, oh. <laughs> I think you in the book. <laughs> now, I think he in the book because I bet that was a chick calling him, right? No, that, he was gonna lie that was my daughter's school. <laughs> That's oh, my daughter's school. Right. Yeah, yeah, tell us anything. So, if you think I'm in the book, what chapter am I? I don't know. Let's talk about something else and then we're going to transition into it. Let's do it. Yeah. So, if you can, let's just, how about you introduce yourself real quick so the people can know who you are? Oh, well, I am a million different things, but I go by the queen maker. Sometimes I go by Pastor P. Right? Whoa. Why the queen maker? Yeah, yeah. What the, why does people call you the queen maker? Yeah. Out of all things. Out of all things, why they call me the queen maker. Okay, so I didn't come up with that name. Whoa, so who came with the name? A, a chick in the comment section of one of my videos on TikTok. Nice. And so you I ran was, with it. I was doing what I do, educating on TikTok, and the woman was like, you're not just a queen, you a queen maker. And mm, I was like... That sounds mm. good. Yeah, my, and I, I I ran it by my friend. I said, look what she said. He said, he say, hey, that's your, that's your brand. That's your brand. 
And I, I took it and ran with it. And then even though, even though I go by the queen maker, the next predominant title is Pastor P. Right? I didn't give myself that name either. Whoa. <laughs> they call me Pastor O. Why they call you Pastor P? Yeah. Because I be preaching, boy. When I, when ah! preaching, boy, when I be Was he, we'll put it like this, was you always like vocally expressive as a kid? So that's always been your thing. Yeah, yeah. You Even know, as a kid. Man, I was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, yeah. a rapper? Yeah, I was. Yeah. What yeah. was your rapper name? Karma. Yeah. Okay. How long ago? Shoes. That was some years ago. Uh, But I. I you put I started out rap- Yeah, I put out two. I started rapping it like um, in middle school when mm. when Lil Bow Wow came out. Because wow. I ain't but a year old. I'm not a but a year older than Bow Wow. So when gotcha. Bow Wow came out, I think he was like twelve or thirteen. Mm. And so I was around the same age, and I was like, "Shoes, if he could do it, I could." So you was nice with the man. Uh, oh yeah, you yeah. know he rapped too, right? Yeah. Oh for real, yeah. yeah. I'm a oh. music, I'm a music head for oh, sure. Oh, that's what's up. Listen, I give you some, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too fast, too furious. You never leave me behind. And if you did, best believe I catch up like Hines, watching the time. Because winning is on my mind. I passed right by Foot Locker, went straight through the finish line. You're missing the point. I came in at the nick of time. Run quicker than the fat kid running home for dinner time. Know when they're close to winning, get at the end of the line. Because you're causing more friction than the fat woman's inner thighs. Been advised to hop in the industry in disguise. Trying to hide like the porno screen on your PC. You minimize. Niggas, I victimized. Ooh. Lost in the end of crime. Throwing whip chains and handcuffs. I ain't even commit no crimes. <laughs> now that I'm energized, I'm selling off like enterprise now that i'm filthy rich you never been a friend of mine you see i'm a pimp with mine i ain't got it i'll improvise you down bad on your looks are for you i sympathize i'm like a complex fraction and y'all niggas been simplified subtract all your main organs cross your eyes and then divide i use the tongue twist that's how my words get intertwined but i'm still on fire like an open wound and some iodine i'm super califragilistic expialidocious my hey. rhymes more funky than simple chronic halitosis for me from nakedish to nakedocious but i'm still trying to find a way to sign a real deal like kosher's Whoa, when you write that last night? That sounds fresh. 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 That sounds yeah, like, you like so that would be something for fun if I just wanted to flex my brain or something. Yeah. But I'm on the bigger and better things, you know. I'm trying to write. Are a you thesis. a reader? Yes and no. Like okay. I, I read, I, I read research papers. Like that's what I'm down to read. I read research papers. Damn. What yeah. kind? What kind of research papers? Scientific, scientific research papers. So I like to peruse um, the National Library of Medicine, finding different stuff to um, help with my thesis of things that of the of the entire view of the world so i I have to find the 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 right credible material to be able to support what you what you tell what you're saying yes what are you trying to get across like what are you okay somebody say the queen maker yes what are you trying what's the mark you trying to leave on earth yeah okay uh, I'm a social reformer, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. And uh, I have a focus on uh, global economics, ecology, uh, and things like that. Mm-hmm. But human beings have a major impact on the world. And human behavior is causing the world or planet Earth a lot of destruction. Like humans have literally killed off like 80%, 86% of life on planet in record time. Mm. Okay. So this, the, we are accelerating, okay, um, uh, an af- atrophy state for um, the, the planet. So the earth has gone through many extinctions, like six prior to this. So tell me this then, if we are humans, right, and we're no different from any other animal or natural, res- natural I guess, being on earth, isn't that just evolution of the oh, planet? No. Oh no, no, we are different. We are we are worse than any <laughs> any other life form on planet Earth. You what makes so? us worse yes. though? Like what makes us worse? We worse than the tiger. Yes. How? <laughs> well, because here's the thing: who else is digging up all of nature's resources and just depleting the planet? Who who else doing that? Is is a monkey doing that? I mean, is a turtle doing that? Mm. No. Humans are doing that. We tearing up the ozone layer, layer, right? Well, we I would kill- argue that that 
it's other re- other animals in 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 biology that are digging up resources. You got uh, you got worms. I mean, yeah. Hold I mean, on now, Byron. <laughs> I'm on just saying. I know you're not some saying stuff that. Going on. <laughs> <laughs> niggas say worms. <laughs> I'm just saying, so, like, so the worms beating out these cranes and these doggone oil rigs? No, nah, they're not beating aight, them out. Aight. But what I'm saying, they they eating up something, destroying something in order to produce something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every 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 species on the planet destroys something to produce something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. no, they produce something for planet Earth. It's they have an interdependent relationship on planet Earth. Mm-hmm. We have a parasitic relationship with planet earth Mm -hmm. and that's something that's totally different okay so the the rate that we are accelerating planet earth's death okay or human life or death of species is record time okay Mm -hmm. and that has everything to do with human behavior okay so because of that we have to look at the systems and structures that facilitate this destroyed uh, state or the destructive state that planet earth is in there is no animal out here who operates on a patriarchal con- um, consumerist materialist mentality and no there is no animal that has sweatshops human slavery child trafficking ain't no animal out there that's doing that right what and, about the bees hmm? Bees are doing it the way it's supposed to be done, goddammit. Okay. <laughs> they, yeah, okay. they supposed to be and guess what? Humans are killing the bees and bees are critical. They critical they are to the, critical to, the, to, to everything. To to to, to e- the, the ecological They're bigger state. than you expect. They are very yeah. critical and our dumbasses are killing them, okay? Because of our idiotic behavior, right? And it is the behavior of consumption that's doing it. It is the behavior of being territorial, colonization, all that stuff is a problem. And who is at the head of that man? Huh? Man. Whoa. (laughs) Did I hurt you? (laughs) Yeah. Go ahead. (laughs) Ow, say ow. So, so. So, so, I got to. Yeah, let's talk about it. So you said men are the head of all the destruction in the world. Absolutely. Why do you feel that way? It ain't about why well, well, I feel that way. Let me ask why you. Why is that the hold truth? On, Let me ask on, you that. Do they say, who say we built the world? Who who say we built the world? Man. All right. Enough said. So we ain't going to sit up here and take credit for building this matrix because they didn't build planet Earth. Because planet Earth was already here before they started building the matrix. So if men going to take credit for saying we built this matrix damn it you're gonna take credit for the consequences or the effects of the matrix too which is all of the destruction that has happened as a result of it so let's ask that question again it's, it's, what do women fall in that <laughs> who <laughs> say equation. hold on I, I'm, I'm gonna answer that question but i okay. just want to make sure we go back so you can answer it again who say we built the world Men. That's right. That means men are responsible for everything that goes in in the world goes on in the world that they built. So what okay. role do women play? Now what they role say do women, women run the role? Hold on, hold on. What role do women play? Let's talk about women it. play the role of support of men. Okay. Yeah. Because got- <laughs> women are resources. I'm sorry, women are resources and men have subjugated women. And use and put women into submission to support all of the things that they have done, including the destruction. Okay. And so women have been removed out of a natural position into a position of submission to support male quote unquote leadership, which has led us into Hades. So I got a question. Yes. Past the P. Yeah. The queen maker. Yeah. How do you feel about these women supporting these men? What's your thoughts about that? Oh. You think it's a good thing or a bad thing? No, no. I think that women don't know any better. Whoa. Whoa. I thought women know everything. No, Talk to me. No, no. Women. So if you. Talk to if, us about if, this. If you, if you go into any studies, it is widely understood globally that even though women are 
practically smarter than males. They are they they okay, are agree. better in scholastics. They are better in literary. They are better. They have better executive functioning. These are literal facts. What's the difference? Is that the majority or like two thirds of the illiterate adults are women because globally men typically try to keep women out of education Why globally you that because if women knew They're better too smart it's... men cannot deal with smart women who can mm. think for themselves because you know can't why? control them you can't control them so here's the thing women have been forced in a position forced to support the chaos that's going on here because women have been strategically kept out of knowledge of themselves they have been kept out of industry they have been kept out of education somebody had just made a, i think somebody said that um somebody made a a video talking about and it's a man saying that women shouldn't be able to have an education above high school or something so that they can just focus on being wives right see the wife is a submissive position to support male quote-unquote leadership hmm. so, so <laughs> i gotta ask a question i got a question yeah, yeah. Too. i got a question, this is, this. I got a question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so so if men okay so do what, what do you think is best for a productive society in terms of reproduction child mental safety and security, right? From a, from a child's perspective, raising a child, healthy child. If women aren't wives, like how do we how do we build society where women aren't wives and and the, the nurturers of society? How do sweetheart, we do that, sweetheart? I am the queen maker, and so Talk I done to told us. I done told y'all off camera what time it is. I done told you you can be a reproducing slave. And you can be a reproducer slave, okay? My, slave. I, look, so, so, look, so, listen, so. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen, I date women, but it's some women out here that still won't fuck with y'all. So, look. Talk to us. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can get 15 of them in mm. my community. 15 women? Yeah, I can pull 15 of them easy. And I, I just say, look, hey, <laughs> I think he qualified. Okay, we're going to go over here on our little island. And hey, if we want to have some kids, how many of y'all want kids? You still want kids? Okay. <laughs> 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 what you think about this one? Look, what you think about that one? Yeah. He cute enough. <laughs> he cute enough to pass his jeans along. Now he, yeah, he cute too. So we're going to use them. We're going to use both of them. So what's going to happen is if we're going to pass their ass around and then we're going to kick their ass out the house and then y'all going to go, uh-uh, we're going to take care of the kids, all 15 of us. We're going to take care of the kids and y'all ass is not coming in the house until, right, you earn your right in the house. Okay, hey, you can visit. You can spend a night. Which <laughs> ain't staying here. Hold on. You <laughs> maybe spend two nights. I'm telling you this how go go. Yeah. And then after you done spent your night or two and then we didn't cook the uh, soul food meal for you on Sunday, then on Monday you take your ass to work, okay? And we don't want to hear from you until next Sunday. What? Right? Go out there and build a wall. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Where does that exist? Cause, cause, hold, hold on. Because most women, they want you to hit. They want to eat lunch together, dinner together. Cool. They don't want your ass to go nowhere. Oh, Netflix no, 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 no. and chill. Netflix out and a long chill. Time. Drop some in- dick. <laughs> cuddle. Play a movie. Go feed them kids. No. Yo, we... let's watch a kid movie. <laughs> Go to work and bring your ass back. Yeah. Make sure you come back at the work. See, yeah. Don't see, make yeah, no extra yeah, stops. Yeah, yeah. And who is that calling? Hold on. See, so, that, see, that's what y'all don't y'all don't understand. Talk to us about this. Y'all are y'all are analyzing here and now when women don't know better, okay? And they still operating on the old program. Guess what? Do y'all listen to Beethoven? Nah. All I right. Don't. So at one pe- one point, people was jamming and said, "Man, you heard Beethoven new shit? <laughs> Man, that motherfucker lied, right? <laughs> yeah. So guess yeah. what? There was a period in time, a transition, and then you little start listening to new shit. So now you you go from Beethoven to listening to Snoop Dogg and and, and California Love, right, with Tupac. Then you go to listen to you know, 
fucking in the studio or some shit. But like, <laughs> sound like you, a vibe. You know, what, you know what though? Here's the thing though. I gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it real. And and you know we had a discussion about this. Matter of fact, today on Bob. Yeah. It's some logic to what she's saying. I don't. I don't all the way agree. I don't see how we get from where we are today to where she talking about going. Yeah. But here's the thing. We live in a society in America where women are becoming more and more educated. They're more masculine. Way more masculine. They're finding it way more, more difficult to find males. Especially men, women that make money. Especially women that make Six, money. Six, seven-figure women. They don't need us for shit. At all. They got to like you at this point. And like what Jessica was talking about, everything emotional, they could do with their friends. That's the only thing they need for us it's sex. No, but no, at the end no, of the day, no, they don't need that. They got vibrators. Man. No, fuck that, cause I lick a I lick a motherfucker like that. Wait, wait, wait. What you talking about? Listen, hold on, listen, hold on. I keep telling y'all don't y'all really don't know the queen make. I'm <laughs> telling you. I want to know the real queen make. I'm yeah, telling yeah, you, yeah. I'm so, telling hold you. Hold on, wait. You say you're gonna lick something. What you gonna lick? Yeah, shoes. I I peaches, cream, peaches, cream. Look, look. All of the Apple things. Apple bottoms right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like eating pussy? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Well, so, wow. What the, so wait a minute. Because you got you don't do you have a kid, right? Yes. One kid? One kid. Okay, and were you ever married? Yes. So you just married. How long you was married? So when you was married, were you I was with a man. Like, I just recently, I just recently started dating women. How long ago? Uh, December 2022. 20, I've never been with a woman until then. So what made Hold you on. what made you transition from men to women? Shit. What made one shades of men? So break it down to us. Forty one shades of men. Like what made you say fuck the men? <laughs> I want a taco. <laughs> First of all, let me tell you something about these Texas tacos, right? The <laughs> my, so my, my, up crunch it. my, my like wife from Texas. Texas. <laughs> my wife from Texas. I know how it is. You know what I'm soft <laughs> taco is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so talk to us about that. Okay. All right. So, man. It tastes I, good. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, hold on, hold on. So, you rather. Which one you rather? I'd rather. The yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you rather lick the pussy? Mm. Or you rather get some head? To a man. Oh, I'm not sticking y'all shit in my mouth. You crazy? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So you rather so you never gave a man head? I did. I ain't giving but her no more. You rather? You rather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because see, here's the thing. When a woman see a see y'all operate on the biological level, yeah, sex is mm. more biological and need for y'all. Sex is. It depends creative. on who you are, though. No, no. At, Sex is creative and it's emotional or it's an emotional connection for women. Okay. Correct. Okay. All right. So because of that, I discovered an impediment in men. See, I I want the type of connection that I want is only gonna come from a woman. I didn't try it with you. I didn't try it with me. What kind hold of connection on, is that? Hold on. I want a mental, spiritual, and emotional connection connection and the male is not Missing capable emotional. of doing y'all ain't capable of doing which it. ones are we capable of doing y'all capable of fucking and that's and, it and, and owning you're you're capable of fucking for yourself you're yeah. not capable of fucking for the woman because they still complaining 80 <laughs> percent of them they ain't even getting no orgasms from you Damn. but uh fucking for yeah. the wrong reason you gotta fuck you gotta please the woman man before you please yourself man, that's, yeah that's the tip from no sting energy yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm telling it, you right now. It sound good, you know. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. We can break this shit down. It sound good, but anyway, we uh, can break it to, down. It, back to to why I hopped the fence, and I'm never going back. Right. So you officially done with dudes? Yeah, I'm done. No more. No more. Like you cold turkey. Cold turkey. Damn. I'm the type of person. Like when I I didn't know how to swim. What I did, I jumped in the deep end. But before I jumped in the deep end, I went to the shallow end, like one, one, two Stuck feet away. And I to see if I could swim and make sure that I could, I mean, float and not touch the bottom. Yeah. If I could do that, then I was like, okay, I'm going to go jump in the deep end. Right. Mm. And that's what I did. Right. And so I'm not, I'm not the type of person that 
I got to deliberate a million times before. Mm-hmm. Once I see the logic in some something, all you got to do for me, yeah. I'm not even I'm not even fixed on the idea. Like if I see something a certain way and you can show me and convince me to see it some way else, I will. I will change my mind, mm. right? Because I'm about what's right. I'm about what's factual. So if I'm wrong in something, you show me where I'm wrong and I see it, I will change my mind. And so that's what happened with me. Once I got to the conclusion of who men are, and what they are and are not capable of. And I saw what it is that I wanted. And I'm like, just because they can't do it, who the hell say I got to go without it? I know who can mm-hmm. do it, a woman. So once I said that, man, I say, fuck it. Let me go see if I can. Let me go to the strip club and see oh. if, if I can picture myself being with a woman. This is really the, yeah, this, yeah, this the is, conversation like, you, you have. You with can yourself. see it. You could see it. In the progression on my show, because I kind of document everything. I say everything. Like, so you could see when I start, because I was talking about it. I said, yeah, I went to the strip club. I went and I got banned from the strip club, right? Uh, why, you get, dude, why you get banned? Dude was being an ass. He was just being a fucking gotcha, asshole. Gotcha, gotcha. But anyway. Um, you was wild or not? I wasn't wild or not because I, I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing different than I did the day, the last time I went. I did yeah. the same thing. He banned me the second time for doing it. But, but yeah, but anyway, anyway, so anyway, I got banned. And so now all the chicks want to, oh, I wonder what Priscilla got banned for. Girl, Uh-oh. you, you want to know what I got banned for? Yeah, girl? I, w- I want to know. You want to know what I got? No, I ain't talking about you. I'm telling her, I'll show you what I got banned for. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you better than I can tell you. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I want to know. I want to know, know what you did. Yeah, 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 what you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Shout out detail. No steal your energy. You ain't got no, no ponytail. You ain't got no ponytail. <laughs> Whoa. Look, look. Anyway, no. But once I discovered that, I was like, you know what? I went to the strip club. I say, okay, I think I can do this. And then I got a girlfriend. Hold on, hold on. So, so you found your girlfriend at the strip club? No. Okay. So how you find your first... Girl interaction. Well, being being a social media person, you kind of got access to like, right. You know, so is it you know yeah, it, it went like, hard. Yeah, it went hard. Yeah. So, so tell me this. Tell me this though. I want to know: was this a transition <laughs> after the mail, or was this something laying dormant? No, like, it, no, that was, you never explored. No, it was never laying dormant. I never had a desire. I'm asexual. For, I'm, I'm I'm on the asexual spectrum. So you know, sapiosexual. Okay. Being a sapiosexual is on the asexual spectrum. Okay. Got you. So I'm a, I am sapiosexual mm-hmm. and I'm a demisexual. So I'm not a. Tra- What's a demisexual? A demisexual is you only have a sexual desire when you have a strong emotional connection with somebody. Gotcha. So you just can't go out there and fuck anybody. No, I can't do that. Mm-hmm. Never did that. Never, never, never operated like that. Right. So mm-hmm. I have to be mentally turned on by somebody. Like I'm heavy into logic. I'm heavy into intelligence. Right. So. A woman and- logical. Hold on, let me get to that. No, no, let me get to that. Let me get to that. When it came to men, right, there was a period in time, which everybody is in this period, where somebody else may display more intelligence than you, right? We all, we all in that period, mm-hmm. right? And so early in my youth, I saw men a certain way i saw them as intelligent you know it was it's men in the nation of islam it's men that are in these conscious communities it's yeah. men that was uh nawapian nation malachi york yeah. intelligence has always been deemed a masculine thing because it's men 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 everywhere you look around right absolutely so i grew up thinking that men were these intelligent People, right? Men are explorers too, though, right? Hold on. <laughs> so I looked up to a lot of men, right? Mm-hmm. And as a result of that, trying to see intelligence in men, those men typically use their intelligence at the time to manipulate me because it's always an age gap, right? It's always mm-hmm. an age gap. So, like older. Yeah. Well, I like used older. to. I used, used to like older. I don't. But see, <laughs> the smarter I got, the more remedial men started to become to me. Mm. The smarter I got, the more remedial men became. So on top of men's behavior 
around me and to me. On top of that, and me getting smarter, I lost all attraction to men. Damn. Because my attraction was here. It was never physical. Right. Wow. It was never physical. Yeah. It was so mental. So it's so easy for me to go to women because it's still not physical. Do you view women... Because I, I know you, I've heard that you say that women are like resources. They are a resource. Do you view them as resources? No, no, because... <laughs> How you view? No, no, no. I don't view women as a resource in the way that men view them. Because I'm also that resource. So, me being an apple, right? Yeah. Hanging with a bunch of apples. <laughs> what's the problem? Yeah. Or... Let's mix up the fruit, mix berries. All yeah. of this is fruit. So here's the thing. We all are together. The person who's coming to eat on us, right, mm -hmm. is not the fruit. They have something different in mind. We just existed. This person trying to eat us, right? Yeah. I'm not trying to eat you because at the end of the day, we're all the same. We nurture each other. It's an interdependent relationship. With, with women. So how you spoke on logic. Yeah. Mm. Would you say that when, on average, mm -hmm. you know, factually speaking, that men typically are more logical than women? Yes, in terms of. See, we have to we have to say in log logical in terms of because we got a period right there. That's an incomplete sentence. You have to say, okay, are men more logical in terms of computers? Are men more logical? In terms of I so guess factual, you know, oh, no, science. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to answer the question. Okay. Because studies, when you talk about science, studies show that uh, girls exceed, actually exceed in that arena. But mm -hmm. it's not that. Men are more logical in terms of survival. In terms of need fulfillment, males are more logical. So women approach, because women don't have the same problem that y'all have. Women don't have problems with getting sex. We don't have to, we really don't have to dress up or do nothing. See, y'all gotta, he don't even really either. He could be broken, some chick could still fuck him because he, he lights in with this fucking <laughs> hair he got. Right? <laughs> Correction, I'm caramel. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? Caramel. Right, but it's the truth. See, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I can say if a person is attractive. Yeah. You're not a bad looking guy. You're attractive too. But y'all, you have to do a little bit more than him, right? Yeah. You got to do a little bit yeah. more than him. That's just the bottom line. So I could yeah. be a hobosexual. You could be a hobosexual. <laughs> Which I'm not. Okay, but I'm just saying you could, okay? Yeah. So it's all about the, the facts. Because y'all have that issue, I could be broke and still the dude would want to fuck me. Yeah. If I was like, that's true. Niggas just want pussy. That, that, that's it, right? Yeah. The fact of the matter is, we could say no nah on camera, but the fact of the matter is, if I wanted y'all to fuck me, y'all probably would, right? <laughs> but uh, and I'm just listen, let, come on now. Let's 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 keep it real. But anyway, <laughs> listen. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look. So, um. Because of that, that puts y'all in a competitive state mm. perpetually, right? Competitive mm. with each other to get that. Yes, right? Y'all yeah. yeah, yeah, always in it. Mm -hmm. And because of the competition, that makes you have to be more logical in how you get your needs met. You have to start thinking about tactics. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. That's the reason why. Uh, alpha male strategies or Kevin Samuels exists. That's the reason why pimpology books exist because men are trying to figure out strategies <laughs> to get their basic needs met, like sex and power and ego. Uh, power, control, yeah. ego. That so that's that's where you are, right? And that's what makes you more logical. Women do not have to do that. Women can just exist in quote unquote. Oblivion. They can exist in the bed of roses idea because they do not have to fight for sex. But they do want love, right? Mm. The problem is the only reason that women even want love is because they have been manipulated out of loving their damn self. 
they have been manipulated into believing that they can only get their love needs met from a man who is virtually incapable of love. So now you create <laughs> this issue between men and women where men are trying to get their power, ego, and sex needs met, and she's trying to manipulate him into validating her so that she could feel love, and then you have a never-ending, perpetual, toxic-ass cycle that goes around, around, around in circles, and it never fucking ends, right? <laughs> it's on wow. me. I'm just here to break the shit up. <laughs> I got a question. Yeah, jump in. Go ahead. So, you're done with the men. Yeah. So, what exactly are you getting from women that you're not getting from men? Because you said, fuck the men. Yeah. You Something want straight women. Y'all what, can get, break it down. Y'all cannot genuinely appreciate, genuinely connect with a woman mentally, emotionally. Y'all can't do it. So, yeah. so your husband didn't do that? He couldn't. It's not that he's a, he, not saying that he's a bad guy, yeah. but he's still a male, right? And so we had a lot of issues because of that, mm. right? right? Are y'all still cool? Yeah. He got he got our daughter right now. As a matter of fact, he Hold took on. me. So you got a son and a daughter? No, I have a daughter. I only have oh, one daughter. Guys. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I mean, he took me and got my rental car, right? Like me, nice. we, we so y'all, y'all, y'all homies. Guys, right. y'all homies. I mean, look how I interact with y'all. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. this this is yeah. the true me. Gotcha, this is gotcha. the true me. So it's not it's not like I'm faking, you know, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the true me. It's just that once you start to once you know yourself, yeah, right? It's it comes down to this. You're either compatible or you're not compatible. Mm. And there is a biological incompatibility factor between men and women. Because men are perpetually in a state of survival and women are not. And this creates what is called sexual conflict. Right? Tell me this thing. Mm. Would you want to live in a world with, because the fact that men are in a constant state of survival makes us build buildings, makes us build bridges, makes us build uh, uh, skyscrapers, planes, uh, guns. Just Would you want to live in a world where men didn't build these things because obviously women wouldn't build them because they don't have the natural propensity and the desire to want to build that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. That's actually first. That's, that's false. Okay. okay. Oh, that's that's false. It, Shit. Cause if you can go, you can go into places in Africa and places like that, where people, where women are building, you know, they might not have these big ass facilities like this, but let's, let's keep it a book. Men are not getting up. And just saying, you know what? I just want to build a house. Most men are slaves to the white man that run this shit. And Whoa. That's still a man. <laughs> shit. He's a white man that was the architect of the matrix. So architecture is not a field that is dominated by the majority of people. Okay. These are the people that create the plans for what is going to be built. And a lot of men get their ideas from women. Okay. They get their inspiration. They get their ideas. They get a lot of stuff from women. And then they go and push the plans. And then they have males build stuff. If you leave men to their own devices, the majority of men do nothing. So you have to put men in control of other men to make them do things. It's not because they're doing it because... Oh, survival, because if you leave a man to his own devices, he'll fuck and eat, and that'll be it. Fuck, eat, and sleep, that'll be it. Okay, so like the, ma <laughs> the male is lazy by nature, okay? That's the first four. So the slaves that are here, well, the reason why we're even talking about this is because men know biologically that they're not needed. They know biologically they're not needed. So what they have to do is make themselves feel needed by any way, shape, form, fashion. We did this. We did that. We are good for this. We are good for that. But their behaviors do not show that they are people of value, right? So men have to make themselves needed. You have to make yourself useful. Women are useful inherently, right? Everything comes from a woman. Are women useful inherently because of 
their uh, sex or are they useful just because they really provide value to the world? That's a great question. Oh, they really provide value to the In world. In what way? Oh, yeah. Have you read the Think and Grow Rich? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how could you read that and then ask that question? Because that whole book was written on how men could use women to be in better positions. At the beginning, like three quarter, I mean, like a quarter of the way into the book, it ta- it tells a story about this young man who got an executive position because his mother made him. She built his resume. She did all that. So this disingenuous thing where men use up the resources of women, have women doing their clerical work, have women doing all this stuff behind the scenes, and then they put their face on it and then turn around and be like, well, what you good for? Right? <laughs> like, it's disingenuous as hell yeah. because that book, Think and Grow Rich, literally talks about men using the resources of women, even using women as muses to 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 boost their ability to create right it's like men need women for every damn thing women are the heart who, of everything they so get who doing. protects women in let's say your ideal <laughs> situation who is protecting women right who is making provision for women i'm i'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a better understanding no, I, I know I, baby i know you need to be needed but listen yeah let's, let, let's take it back let's take it back okay all right <laughs> In a natural environment, women be, would be moving in groups. And if it wasn't no men, we wouldn't have no threat besides a lion. And guess what? If we gang, if women ganged up on that lion, since when you go back into archaeological records, women were also hunters, right? And they could protect themselves, right? We ain't dumb. We can build something to protect ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So who are we protecting ourselves from? Our natural predator is men. Right. Let me Damn. ask you this question. You got you got you got any you got any daughters? I do got two of them. Okay. Would you take your daughter and just leave her in a uh, take her to a, a studio and it be twenty five men and you just walk in and just leave her? You gonna do that? Hell. You know no. good and goddamn well you ain't gonna do it. You know some sick yeah. dogs out there. Y'all know yeah. like, shit. No. Y'all, y'all roll y'all rolling around with um y'all y'all do successful y'all do well for yourself. All right. Who you can who you be more concerned about sticking you up and robbing you? A man. A man. Right. So we all know this, but we, because the male wants to protect his ego, he doesn't want to say, hey, men are the problem because he wants to protect himself. Well, I ain't like that. Y'all need men. No, nobody needs criminals. Nobody needs fear. Okay. And have to look over their shoulder. Just look over your shoulders, honey. Ooh. Because who going to be there? Them goddamn men going to be there. <laughs> I got a question, man. I got a question. <laughs> So what value do men hold, in there your you opinion? Go. There you go. What value we have? Your Sound value, like we ain't got shit. Right? Yeah, yeah. Your <laughs> value is dependent upon how you make yourself. How you make yourself. Because guess what? Planet Earth is feminine. Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Damn, that's crazy. Everything in planet Earth is feminine that produces value. And that producer... The feminine Mm -hmm. is interdependent. The male has to get to a place within himself where he moves from a parasite to an independent, interdependent being. And the only way that you can do that is self-constructing yourself to be of value on what you can provide for somebody else. But the average male doesn't want to provide. He wants to operate as a parasite. Give me, give me, give me. And that's the reason why the army's old commercials used to be don't ask your country what your country can do for you ask your country what you can do for your country what can i do for you men inherently think how can give me give me give me what about me that's parasitic so if a man wants to be needed he needs to make himself needed you need to make yourself a value and men don't want to do that because when they finally do make themselves valuable, they are resentful because people only want them because they're valuable. But motherfucker, you want the woman because she's inherently valuable. She didn't have to make herself valuable. And that's what that's you crazy. hate. It's <laughs> crazy. Tell me this. Tell me this. Your, <laughs> you your bring ideal world. Now, boy. Yeah. yeah. 
in your ideal world, would men just be extinct? Were they or, useless? Were they useless? Or or what? What would yo? I, if you was to paint the picture, you <laughs> President <laughs> Obama, what does the world look like? Two thousand and seventy. Okay. What the world looked like? In okay. Sellers world. So before I tell you what it looks like for me, let me tell you what it looks like for a living organism. Okay. So your boy, I wish he was in here. Both of them seem to be really intelligent in the science. Absolutely. World. It would have been nice if he was in here. But uh, <laughs> no, seriously, because I had a good conversation with them. Yeah. All right. Um, and they would really understand what I'm saying in terms of homeostasis, right? Um, a living organism must use energy. It must maintain homeostasis. It must change and grow. It must respond to environmental stimuli, mm -hmm. right? The, these are the things that are required for you to say that something is a living organism. So to be in homeostasis means that you are balanced, right? Not too hot, not too cold. This is pretty comfortable, boom, homeostasis. You're in your optimal health when your uh, blood pressure is 120 over 80. Okay, mm -hmm. solid guy, solid. You are in your uh, in an optimal state when your pH is between the mm. uh, range of 7.35 and 7.45. Right. The pH got to be on point. So if if these things are out of whack, you cause the body a problem. Yeah. It's planet, older. Planet Earth is a living organism which means that it it also must maintain homeostasis absolutely so what is the homeostasis range that's the question mm -hmm. what is the range that is acceptable for a male to female ratio that's the question and the question is the, the answer to that question is, is the feminine has to greatly outnumber the masculine. So if you got a group of dogs and you wanted to mate them, how many males would you put in the litter with five, ten females? One. One. So. The dog. There Arr. should be Arr. a 20, 80 tilt for men to women ratio whoa so one man you'll definitely have a lot more women five, to play with <laughs> one, one man to every five women damn so it's that's like it. that's like cows and and bulls mm -hmm. kind of like the same thing yeah that, that's how i need to be so what i'm saying and you know what would that produce for the planet how would that be beneficial for the planet well i don't planet, think it would how you how it wouldn't because we just agreed on we just agreed on homeostasis right right now are you familiar with how big uh the foster care system is no. it's a bunch of kids they don't it's have big, nobody to take. right okay so let's let's get out of man my dick just want to reproduce 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 and let's look at what we got here on the planet right now yeah okay right now you have millions of children with nobody to care for them who are being sexually assaulted, abused, and, uh, and, and, and neglected in the foster care system. But we want to keep producing children when we got enough kids here that we should be looking after, but we're not. Then you have a big ass sex trafficking ring for children where people are preying on children who come from broken homes, mm. right? You yeah. got ghettos, Sick. right? where people are without their basic necessities, without education, you're, we're depleting nature's resources, right? And so now we, we killing all the livestock. So now we're having to go into a uh, chemically or a laboratory made meat to feed a bunch of people. We're throwing car, like we're producing cars, cars that don't get sold. We throwing them into a landfill, right? Mm. It's a lot of shit that's going on here. And then on top of that, you have overpopulation of men. Because it's more men, women than men. That's a goddamn lie. Because it's 70 million more over there in the eastern regions. It's 30 million more men than women in India. And it's 70 million more. I mean, it's 40 million more in China. So now you got... That was, that was falsely manipulated. Which a lot of shit is falsely manipulated. All of this stuff 
is in, how did the one child policy even come about? That's in China, right? Yeah. How did that, how did women think that male children were more valuable than the female? How did that thought get in there? That head? was government. That was, that was, that was men. They're trying to control the population. Yeah. Well, hold on. It got that way through patriarchal philosophies. The brainwashing that men. And communism. Men. To be fair. Men, it's all male dominated and men are looked at as the damn deities and women are basically marginalized in patriarchal societies. That's just the bottom line. So this is the subconscious belief, right? That encouraged women to want sons over daughters. So if these women were, people always want to talk about, oh, wait, Prince Ellie, you hate men and you just want, listen, they actually made the move to kill a bunch of baby girls over there. They wanted boys so bad over there in that one child policy that if they got pregnant with a girl, they would just throw the damn girl in the fucking dumpster, right? They, 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's the shit. So, so instead of living in idealism world, let's look at what's happening to planet earth right in front of us. You have the, the uh, ocean, the Atlantic ocean heating up beyond temperatures that it has ever reached before. Ice caps are melting, ozone layers being tore up. All this is a result of human beings, okay? Yeah. But we still talking about fucking and bringing kids here, like like literally. So if we want to be of value, mm -hmm. this goes beyond your dick getting hard and trying to control and own a woman. Be of value to the planet that's fucking crying right now, right? Michael Jackson got a song called Earth Song detailing stuff that's going on in, in the planet. And don't nobody care. But we sure do care about getting our nuts off and, and boggling a, a woman down with some damn kids that y'all ain't going to help them take care of. Right? But these women want these kids. Now, under <laughs> manipulation. It's not that these women want these kids because these so, women have been psychologically manipulated for how decades are they? and centuries. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> in your opinion. Yeah. How are men manipulating these women? No, it's not the average male. The average, you didn't create patriarchy. No. You was born under it. You didn't create it. Correct. This ain't no different than uh, white folks who are descendants of white folks who own slaves. They didn't create it. They were born into it, though. But guess what? Black folks still blaming them, right? Yep. It, so, so what's good for the goose mm -hmm. is good for the gander, right? People like it. The pots like to call the kettle black. I'm I'm here <laughs> to let you know it's the same goddamn logic. You can't blame white folks for slavery who are your age, who ain't never owned a slave, and then turn around and be like, well, well, what did men do? How's men control? Men are the creators of patriarchy, and y'all were born into it. Tell me this. Hmm. Do you think children... Um, from a mental, from a mental standpoint, do you believe children grow up more successfully in a male female household, or do you believe those children could have that same level of success from a mental standpoint in a mostly female household where women kind of raise that child without That's a great the, question the, the, the without men? I think that. It takes a village to raise a child. Okay. And that's that that has been the staple and it has always been the staple and it shows to be true in nature. So the male is not needed. It's the women who it's the community that governs and fosters these mentalities. So there are still matriarchal societies around that that are hmm. functioning. So do you believe men mm -hmm. will benefit from all women village? raising them. Yeah, so. In this village, do they like, have men or is all well, women? Well, here's the thing. The male can always benefit from some from a community helping you to get some emotional intelligence because men are emotionally retarded, okay? Y'all, you, know, you, you are. And so when you don't have a community of women to help Foster so, you. Wait a minute. Hold oh, no, on, I'm answering your question now. Let me finish. Because <laughs> I know it's like, damn, as soon as I, as soon as I, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hold on, wait a minute. Punch him in the nose. Yeah, I know. I'm like, just, the champ is here. The champ is here. I know I'm packing that ass, but I'm like, <laughs> Yo. 
She breaking that motherfucker <laughs> down. Yeah. Okay, but look, no. So you, there's two ways that this could be done. Okay, okay? There's, there's two ways that this could be done. If men want to be of value, if you want to be needed, okay, a man is a male who has integrated his feminine side to become a whole person. He literally gets on the level of a woman. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Because here's the thing. You is that attractive are, to women though? Yes, it is. Okay. So what do you mean by that? Uh, yeah. A y'all man who, has to be. Y'all know who Jason Wilson is? It's a perfect example. I don't know they can. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. gonna have to look up Jason Wilson because Jason Wilson is a martial arts teacher. Okay. And he got a full beard. Okay. And he'll whoop both of y'all ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he'll sit up here and tell you that to become a man, right, it ain't based on masculine traits. You have to integrate that feminine side to become a whole person. So now y'all ain't going to, he'll say that and y'all going to sit there and be like, yes, sir, because if you don't. <laughs> so, so, so let me ask you this. Just for the men out there, what feminine traits do men need to be better for women? Well, yeah. Okay. Or, or, and, or, uh, or need to attract, know. be attractive to women. Yeah. Okay, so first of That's all, before I... Phenomenal even, question. No, seriously, before I answer that question, I need to understand what you think is femininity. What do you think you first. is femininity? <laughs> I think I think uh uh emotional <laughs> intelligence from a from an empathetic standpoint is feminine, right? I think some of that is feminine. Damn, I think that's how uh, I push. Yeah, yeah. I think uh I think Adornment, adornment, you know, of certain things like what you said. I, I think that was a good, adornment. Yeah, like when men adorn different, you know, uh, different things, you know, to accessorize themselves. Uh, I think that was that was. I think I got that from you. I think that is feminine. Um, outside of that, I think uh, that's yeah. That's about, that's about, the, right, that's so about as deep as it go. Yeah, y'all yeah, don't I'm not know good at answer the question. what it means to be feminine. I don't. Which is the reason why you think it's negative and makes you less of a man and y'all have these beliefs without even studying them but you hold these beliefs you think it makes you a sissy you think it make you a punk you think without even knowing what it is what is it okay because i don't know right. yeah so i was thinking emotional soft accepting Busting a tear. What can let me ask you this question? Can you give me five characteristics of leadership? Mm. I can do that. Uh, I think characteristics, integrity, right? You need to have some level of integrity. You need to have uh, consistency. Some consistency. Positive. Good provider. Provider. A builder. Absolutely. Builder. Okay. You have to have a vision. Community. Right? Yeah. You ha and you have to, you know, have some level of selflessness, competence, right, in order to lead people because people won't follow um, somebody who wears nothing in it for them. So uh, I think that those are great characteristics of a good leader, a giver. Okay. So most of what you listed are feminine characteristics. Damn. Why you so, say that? It's not why I said it because if. It, it, it's because when you look into the character traits that a male has to have, you have to develop them because they are not natural to men. They are natural to women. And so when you look into when you look into the occult, when you get down into the principles of masculine and feminine, mm -hmm. feminine, the feminine mind is the creative mind. It is the artistic mind. That painting, that, that canvas right there, that's art that comes from the feminine side of the brain. It's abstract. Hmm. All art forms come from the feminine. And guess what leadership is? It's an art. God damn. It's so, an art. So, <laughs> so the reason why the average male struggles with leadership is because it belongs to the feminine and he struggles to integrate the feminine side to himself. And one of the characteristics of feminine uh, of leadership is sympathy and understanding. Mm. That is a feminine trait. 
in order to understand somebody, you got to be able to listen and sympathize and empathize with the problems. And then you have to be a problem solver for the people who follow you because being a leader is being a servant. That's a fact. Damn. So, but she bringing this shit down. Does not want to serve. He wants to take by nature. The female is the natural giver. So how do you explain men who have taken care of, provided for, given to, made provision for women from centuries on in? Naturally, mm. men have who? stepped up to the plate to make provision for women. Who? Because are you saying the same men who took women's freedom away? <laughs> well, you know, this is a good question. Yeah. This is a good question. Because you don't so, you don't take nobody freedom away and then turn around and say, because I'm going to let you say what you want to say. But what men did was take nature's resources mm -hmm. on them when women were actually given dominion over the planet. Mm -hmm. They took that from them and then breadcrumbed them back with what belonged to women. So is that love? Is that providing? Because planet Earth provides all the resources. Why the hell men got hoarded all of that shit and then because we multiply resources we, we 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 make resources way more efficient way more abundant productive right we we've produced so much to where we've gotten fat like we could get fat like 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 and we, thick and yeah all of the things that is a that is from males overproduction over provision in what region because with all the homelessness with all of these kids in Africa in the richest continent on the damn globe, there should be no reason for malnutrition, homelessness, and all of that. So let's not talk about the abundance of what's created when there are so many people dying from starvation right now. Well, if we, let's look at this from a natural standpoint. In reality, right, in reality, those people would probably just die off. If I'm just keeping it a bean. In reality, if we were to to section out the population, right, the only reason why we are even allowed homeless, the weak to survive is because men have industrialized society so much and have created so much abundancy in the in 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 the world that we can have homeless in the in the natural state, in the natural state. Those people would die off. They which, 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 listen, which they should die off. But you have not created abundance. You have created a global problem where lives are being put on the planet to suffer for greed. Okay? These people have created slaves and used their bodies, they've used their talents. And they've taken them and thrown these people to the wayside and say, fuck you, find your way. People going to the military fighting for their wars and can't even get the goddamn GI Bill. Let's keep it a buck. That is not abundance. That is slavery. That is use. And then you discard these people. So if you're creating abundance, it ain't about consumerism where you got a person in the house with seven TVs in their damn house. And then somebody on the street ain't got a damn morsel of food to eat. Right. That's not abundance. And that is not the way a woman would lead, because you know what? That mentality is a man saying, hey, you got four different kids by three different dudes and I'm one of them. But I'm bringing my child to eat in front of these other kids. See, that's Damn. the mentality of a motherfucking dude, but not the mentality of a damn woman. I'm going to make sure all my kids eat. And so that's the reason why you got damn homelessness out here, because that's the nigga male. That is the male's mentality. Hey, not, I, just, I, not just black men. That's male's mentality. I think she so answered your question. Let's just keep it a book. <laughs> so at the end of the day, women are better leaders than men. You damn skippy. And the only reason why, <laughs> the only reason why. <laughs> Man. And yeah. So the only reason why that you don't see this is because we live in a hierarchical system where everybody has been brainwashed into delusion and dysfunction. Women do not know better. And that's where I come in. I, women don't know how to think or behave like women because they have been uh, programmed and manipulated under male philosophies for centuries. So the queen maker come in and debug them. So my issue with this is- I know. My <laughs> issue with this is that really, if I'm hearing you correctly, you're talking about 
What you talking about? Honestly, this is just what I'm hearing. When I'm listening to what you're saying, I'm hearing mass depopulation of men. Right? That's depopulation of everything. Nah, 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 nah. Depopulation of women, over, of men, overproduction of women, right? And to the to a certain degree, to a certain degree, probably only the top 10 to 20 percentile of men will survive. Will, yeah, will survive and reproduce. I think that's the global elites. That's so how it should men, be probably anyway. I think, I think anybody who's in... You think so? I think it should be that way because women only want the top twenty yeah, percent of men anyway. Yeah. Do y'all know what the five percent is? Y'all, y'all I've know? heard of that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You know what the talented tenth is? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Five well, percent of the talented tenth uh, is like the top top tier of, of people, right? Yeah. The, the the average person has just been produced, mass produced, without a purpose here. Okay. So mm. the the global elites. They know more than I know. I'm just I'm just a little old chick out here who figure this shit out. Yeah. And you got Bill Gates, Jeff, Jeff Bezos, all these cats that know the globe's, the planet's problem. And the global elites have to look at the effects that humans have on the planet. I'm just letting y'all see how they see, how the planet is, and you can come to your own conclusions based on that. <laughs> what type of society, right, realistically, honestly, do you see us being a, a functional, productive, progressive society with a decrease in population of men, honestly? Mm. What do you mean by progress? Because uh, let me let me let me tell you something. Right now, y'all's biggest issue, we done progressed so much that y'all y'all ain't finna be fighting with women. You finna be fighting with the Terminator in a minute, okay? <laughs> you finna be fighting with the Terminator because <laughs> if your ass don't become John Connor, you really ain't gonna have no purpose because the robots gonna be able to do everything, okay? Mm. So Damn. these robots are going to take your position and they they won't have to quote unquote fight for resources. Your humanness requires you to fight for resources. John, Terminator, okay, ain't gonna be trying to get no sperm and no chick, right? Ain't nobody, the, the, the robot ain't finna be fighting over no damn women. Y'all yeah. asses are though. And so when the, yeah. the further that they restrict food resources, the robot don't need to eat. Mm. Your ass need to eat. You need sex, food and ego stroking that robot don't need that shit all right if we want to keep it a buck right yeah all right so who you really need to be worried about competing with and talking about um uh, progressing you done progressed yourself off the edge of the planet that's what you done done okay because if you would just keep the planet the way it was intended to be kept which is maintaining planet earth's resources and living your abundant life just existing then we wouldn't have this problem but no, we want to destroy this motherfucker like they destroyed damn Mars. We're going to destroy the whole damn galaxy. You think they already Man. destroyed Mars? Shit, they already did. No, yeah. no way. <laughs> they no, already no way. Way. <laughs> y'all just Y'all act like y'all just can't fucking chill and live and sit back, be happy that you got some cameras. So, so you don't think we can chill? Huh? I'm pretty chill. I mean, you you pretty chill. I, like I tell <laughs> I you, think so. I got some chicks that still won't fuck with dudes, and they wouldn't mind passing you around. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they wouldn't mind passing you around. Right? <laughs> and then if they don't, then some of them want me to lick on them, and I let you watch. <laughs> Whoa! What? Whoa. So let me. So so you've been into women since December of twenty two. Yeah, I don't believe that. Why? Well, because I'm too bold. You think oh, she been into I, women? I think she been into women. You see, I know you think. No, I haven't. So I got a question. You haven't been. I got a question though. Take take us into that experience. What? So you just do the licking? You do sticking to it? You just lick? I ain't never stuck nobody. No, okay. but if she want me to, it ain't like it ain't like it. It's I not off the table. So, so you get sticked? No, but I mean, but I could. So y'all just be licking? Yeah, yeah, that's what we do, and <laughs> you know, you got you got other. Other ways that you can do stuff. Like, like wait, talk extra to Extra toys and stuff. So what kind? Do, yeah, break yeah, it. Yeah. Here's the thing. Because you invite se new. Se sex. <laughs> talk to us about Listen, it. Listen, sex is a creative energy, right? 
y'all the ones that ain't creative. Y'all have sex because you need to drain your balls, right? Uh, get, c- come on, man. Come on. You just want a nut. Get, get, listen, listen. Y'all can act. Yeah. Y'all can, nah, yeah, talk yeah. to me like you talk to Six each other. Six times out of ten. Yeah. Six yeah, times yeah, out of ten. Yeah, You're yeah, trying to get one yeah, off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Come on. Let man. me bust real quick. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm going to fill you up. Shit. I know the game. Ain't, ain't no sense of lying to me. Shit. Yeah. Uh, but that's how y'all are, right? And so y'all don't really connect with a motherfucker, right? <laughs> but it'd be some, Damn. like, y'all. You talk, man, she want me to go an hour, man. How long is sex supposed to be? It's supposed to be five minutes. Show right. Cause if that pussy real good, man, I ain't gonna let that long anyway. Right. Yeah. 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 I know. might be a cool three minutes, right. three minutes. That's how the fuck y'all are. Uh, that shit too wet, man. Yeah. yeah, man. And then you have these oh. delusional ass bitches that know they ain't getting no nut. See, my pussy made him come real fast. Bitch, but she ain't getting no nut. And she ain't getting no nut. Uh. Dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. So listen, I don't I don't operate like that. How you operate? I don't operate like How that. You operate? I operate the way y'all wish y'all could operate. That's why everybody be talking about I'm I done created a lesbian code because y'all wish y'all could do what I can do, right? Damn. What you can do. <laughs> right? Talk to us about it. Like, what you can do. Oh, shoes, man. I can last I I can last as long as she needs me to last. And I don't have to use no no external toy to do it, but it's about making the woman feel special, making her feel that's, valued. I think that's what sex is all about. Let's cut the game. No, nah, for real. No, no, no. <laughs> As a male, you got to be a pleaser to the woman. You su- you, you should be, but your y'all woman's ain't. supposed to be nothing before, way before you. I'm talking about two or three. It's supposed to be, but that ain't happening. But most men not like that. That's why they can't that's get no the pussy. That's, that's why they can't get no pussy. And that's why they yeah. mad. And that's, that's why, that's they, why they only want 20% of men. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's a resource thing. It's a lot of things. A lot of men not having sex for the woman. They're having sex for themselves. That's true. Yeah. That's why they only get the pussy one time. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know then they be saying? trying to kill a motherfucker. They trying they, to... They, yeah, they be trying to pound. What, 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 you got to uh, take your time, say, brother. What, 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 like, Whoa. Whoa. Right yeah, you got to yeah, take yeah, your yeah. time, like, yeah. man. Like it's slow, jumping fast, that ain't gonna go. No. Like, yeah. That, that, that nigga ain't listen to the song. That cause the song was made for women. You niggas don't listen to women. That's your problem. You gotta take your time, so, bro. So that full plate. But I ain't gonna get y'all no. last the game because you ain't earned. You should. <laughs> you should give us a yeah, game. Yeah. No, fuck that. But this is no stage energy. We shot a game. It's too late, day. But no, 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 no. <laughs> this is the best time. So give us a little game, little tips for the Yo, men. For the men. For the men who oh, give us some struggling. female tips. No, 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 for real. Whoa. Give some female tips for the men that's struggling to please their women. I wish I would talk to these niggas that's online talking about Priscilla hate men. Well, they gonna really be talking about I hate men now, cause I sure ain't finna give you no tips. We know stingy. Go ahead and just yeah. one tip. That's right, that shoes. I'm sorry, I'm stingy, damn it. Y'all didn't tell, y'all didn't tell me. I didn't, y'all didn't tell me I couldn't be stingy. Just give us one tip. One no. tip. I'm sure you got okay, listen, one tip. Listen, they can't do that. So that that's the tip. Listen. Mm. Pay attention. Mm. Read the body language. I ain't going to tell you that. That's all I'm giving you. Listen and pay attention. You can't do that. That's on your That's on you. So a shirt for you. You got to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no stand energy shirt. No, Come on, now. I got it, baby. Come on. Give us. I, got, I, you, I gave you a tip. All right. I got you a tip. So, listen, so talk to us real listen, quick. I'm not finna, listen. I'm not finna give y'all tips you should on how to manipulate women oh uh, yeah no no because here's the thing manipulate yeah yeah manipulate to get the pussy y'all get y'all do stuff to get women and then you drop the ball and go back into your nature okay i what, what, what y'all was the need nature to, what y'all need to do is be real that's what you need to do you need to be legit what does being real look like well, being real means being honest about what you can and cannot do. Okay. Be- in what way, though? Huh? Well, what, what, what you mean by being honest and what you can and can't do? Well, every, talking about every, every, sex, every, providing every, money. No, what you every talking about? man is different in terms of social, social standing. But there is a there is a like a static or general concept of what men are and are not capable of doing. First and foremost, y'all dudes are just not able to really just mesh with women on that higher level. Y'all can't do it, right? Right? But instead of accepting that, just to get y'all's needs met, 
y'all to tell a woman anything and get her to buy into that and manipulate she buy into it you drop the ball and go back to your your true self which is empty and so uh. it's like this y'all should not have access to women the majority of you shouldn't because sex is a reward these women should not be rewarding y'all for being incomplete humans underdeveloped Damn. humans so it's like this all i'm saying is lady listen you don't have to get your emotional needs met by somebody you don't have to be loved by anybody else you can love yourself you can fulfill your own needs and here's the thing trust me you can sex yourself or you can get a motherfucking woman to do it better than a motherfucking dude can do it. Just oh, bottom line. Shit. And here's the thing. When a man earned his goddamn way in your life, if you feel like you want to let him inside of your body after he's checked out, that you know that he is self-controlled, because here's the thing. That's your body that you're allowing to be vulnerable which is vulnerable to diseases, which is vulnerable to, to children, which binds you, chemically bonds you to this dude. Is that a decision that you absolutely want to make? That is not the, that's not what happens when women are with each other. As a matter of fact, just women being, just women congregating, they don't even have to have sex with each other. But just them being in the same vicinity and having a emotional and spiritual bond between them, mm -hmm. there's a power source that can affect life all over that place just by women being in commune with each other right Damn. do women get along uh how does the the relations work let's say you put a bunch of women together mm -hmm. are they fighting are they are they yeah. agreeing are they because women you, change friends every, uh, three, every three weeks boy. hold on Before. women don't do friends wait boy. a minute wait a minute no. you're you're analyzing them in a fucked up mentality you got to remember the, everybody here that's talking, the majority of people live in a dysfunctional world. They are conditioned by a dysfunctional world. Crazy people don't know that they're crazy. So you cannot <laughs> put dysfunctional people in a situation and ask them to be functional when they don't even know what functional looks like. They have never seen functional. They have been brought up in a world of dysfunction. This planet has been dysfunctional since we've been here. As millennials, what all of the shit? We, what, what have we seen? We done seen a lot of shit. We done been, we, what? We seen Pandemic. Columbine, Columbine the, the, the financial, the housing crisis. Shootouts. Yeah, yeah, shootouts. We done, we done seen School so shoes. dysfunctional, right? Twin Towers. What, yeah. This been Laden dead. Function since we've been here. And then you ask these people to be in a functional relationship or a functional mm. community, it's illogical. So what I'm saying is this, as the queen maker who's here to help debug women and show them the dysfunction, I'm literally putting a mirror up to them where not only do they see themselves right in front of that mirror, they can see everything that's behind them. They can mm. see the dysfunction once they see it and they know why it's messed up, then they can actively begin to correct it. And then they can have better friendships or relationships or community companionships amongst each other with reduced conflict. Because see, now we're talking about conflict resolution. Yeah. The average person does not know conflict resolution. The average person don't know nothing. So when you arm the people with this wisdom, their behaviors change. You don't feel wow. you can arm men with this same Hell wisdom? Hell no, because men don't listen. So if you was to go back to men, what does that perfect man look like for you? When I was, when I was interested in men. So you're not interested at all in men? No. Because Damn. what I found that my biggest problem was with me was that I was looking for me in a male body. Ooh. That was my problem. How did, how did you come to that though? Well, I've always been like this because here's the thing. I wanted a man who was strong-willed, who was responsible, go-getter, creator, 
empathetic, understanding. All of the things that I am, I always said, all I, I say, I'm these things. It should be easy for me to find somebody that's just like me. Did you just not find the right man? Or you, find you, the right men? Yeah, you couldn't. Because this could have got to be men. You like could have like just been poly? No. I could, but I could be poly with a multitude, with multiple men dealing with male nature four, five times. De dealing with one man is a fucking headache. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna multiply that five times. Yeah. Well, you could be with a woman and a man, Polly. No, no, I'm not gonna entertain a man. I'm not getting into relationships with women to entertain men or to even still make them feel relevant. Mm. You just say fuck us. Yeah, no, I mean, like, like, I say, I say, you know, I say we could be cool. You know, I can come. Just My home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I go to your podcast. You ain't get no pussy though. Yeah, you ain't get no pussy. Yeah, no. Hey. Yeah, look, I, look, hey. look, I'm good. I clean hey. your hair. You ain't get no pussy though. I, 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 I can rub your ass. I'm just like, you yeah, ain't get no pussy though. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. Hell no. Because listen, right. That's tough, I, man. What I'm asking for, <laughs> what I think I'm asking for is not a lot in my mind. But all of the things that I am, I realize is too much to ask of a male. It's mm. too much. I'm asking too much of a male to be everything that I am. Mm. So instead of me wanting myself in a male body, let me just be me. Absolutely. Let me just be me and let me let a woman experience me. What do you think the 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 fruit of your message is? What do you what do you think is the results of the fruit of your message going to be on the community, women, the nation? If it travels that far, what what do you think the fruit of that will be? I think that when women create better relationships with each other, they create stronger communities. Right. You had you you no longer have children who have to be at home by themselves, who you can't turn to to ask somebody for help. Right. OK. You you have less abuse. You have less children being produced. Right. You when women you when you when here's the thing. Let's not let's not. Buck on that, because when that woman had 15 children and was asking for help. Mm -hmm. everybody shitted on her. When women have multiple children, people talk shit, okay? Especially if she needs community help. Well, mm -hmm. why you got 10 kids? Wait a minute. I thought it was be fruitful and multiply. Oh, be fruitful and multiply does not apply to the woman. It applies to the man. So as long as he's out there producing children, he can have 15 kids. He can have 34 kids. Like I got a whole video series uh, I'm not a series, but I have a video where I tallied up how many children 16 males had. Between 16 of them, they had 336 children. What? Between 16 of them. Now, but that's a lot, that, of, that's a lot, that's of, a lot right? of fucking dog. Yeah, man. Right. And so that's just 16. How many dudes are out here producing children that ain't nobody looking after? And so when you have children being produced like that, one person by themselves cannot take care of all of those children. So guess what? Children are being left vulnerable. And so, hey, you have a couple kids playing outside. Don't ain't nobody looking after them. Guess what? Prime targets for kidnapping. I'm See, let, let, let's, let's keep it a book. So when you have women who love themselves and they operate in community, they have less children as they should. You shouldn't have a woman with popping out 15 kids, okay? You shouldn't have a woman that's been- So maybe just one kid. One kid is fine, but that's up to her if she want to have it. Mm. The male, just like Tupac said, right? In mm. his song, right? Say, since, 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 since a man can't make one, he has no right to tell a woman when and where she, to create one. You don't get that. That ain't your decision. That's mm. her decision. And if she don't want to have kids, she don't want to fucking have kids. That's just the bottom line. <laughs> yeah. That is it. And yeah. so, and so, so in your in your perfect world, you saying that these women would have community because they'd have other women. Yes. In this community, so she what these village. houses? So th this is different houses. This is different suburbs, or is it the same? 
Because this is all over the globe. Because when women start doing this, women are the community. So, what the suburbs look like with mm-hmm. this, though? This this is different. This is a whole... So it seems like it's one man per every five houses. Yeah. Well, well here's the thing. Y'all Drop was already go. doing that back in the 70s and damn 80s. Shit, they Dude doing it now. had a house. Joe Jackson had a whole goddamn family down the street from Catherine. <laughs> Come on now. It's like, but when women... It see, that's cool. The reason why we're even asking this question... Because it's not about the actual situation that I'm talking about. It's a loss of power for men. Because, see, as long as men was doing what the hell they wanted to do, they did exactly that. But now when I say women run the community and limit children and have just a couple of men, it's the same dynamic with a shift in power. That's the only damn difference. So, y'all, men's biggest issue is that they want to be in control they want to have power, but when men have power, things go to shit. Women are abused. Children are abused. Women have too many kids, and women begin fighting with each other, which ain't to be ain't, ain't the way it's supposed to be. And so y'all, we didn't try the y'all's way, and it has failed. And so now we taking the motherfucking reins back. Give me the damn microphone. Stop talking, okay? Just shush. <laughs> shut up. You heard? Oh. So I got a question. Yeah. <laughs> so you wrote this book. Yeah. It's 41 Shades of Men, right? Yeah, 41. It came out what, in January, February? Probably March, I think. March of this year. March. Oh, wow. March or April this year, yeah. So your book has made well over six figures. Yeah. Well over six figures. Well, it's, getting of- close. it's getting close because I've been making pretty good money each month. <laughs> like, I got fired from my job. I was driving trucks, right? Semi. Damn. And, 18 uh, wheelers. Yeah, I, I was driving trucks. Cross trucks. state? Well, it was kind of like a transition. I started out driving cross state. Gotcha. You got you to gotta learn. You got to get all your uh, on the road hours. Yeah, I did that. And then... I went from, because I was driving, I started out flatbed. So I was throwing the tarps and the chains and all of that. I did that for like six months. Once I got six months of experience, because ultimately I wanted to go into the oil field. So Mm. I would have still been doing flatbed had it not been for me wanting to go to the oil field. Mm. So I did that for six months and then I went into the oil field. Gotcha. Okay. And then, so that took me from uh, statewide to regional to... um, Local. To 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 interest to interstate where I was just running in Texas. Mm-hmm. Then I went local, right? So yeah. and so I started doing um, I started doing uh medical supplies. Then I started delivering mail mm. in post office. Okay. And then I went general freight, and then I was I was done with it. So mm-hmm. after um I got fired, uh I didn't get, get fired. I didn't get fired. I got laid off. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. To me, it's the same damn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have no job no yeah, more. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, 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 but no, I didn't get fired. I got laid off. He was telling, he was talking about they had, uh, they didn't have Budget enough. Picks. They didn't have enough work. That's what he said. But mm. you know, people tell you. It's some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bullshit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I was like, okay. And after that, because I started writing a book maybe in November, mm-hmm. but I was having to peck away at it because. It's busy. Your time. Yeah, because I would get off at like nine o'clock at night, yeah. and then I had to go get my child, go to um uh, uh and and try to work, and then go to work mm. at like six seven I mean seven o'clock in the morning. Right? Yeah. So I was so I was just pecking away at it. Mm-hmm. After I got laid off, I went to work on it. <laughs> I went to work on yeah. it. You had plenty of time. Then. Yeah, I had plenty yeah. of time then, but I was like, shoes. I got a I got a little money in my uh checking account but i'm not trying to live off that so it's like i better hurry up and get this get get some shit together get this this, get this thing done and i could have never prepared i could have never i could have never saw what i was gonna end up doing right wow i tell a story about how in my early 20s um a dude from the nation of islam took me for like 40 grand right huh yeah how well, you know, the conscious community is a bunch of snakes. But when you coming up, remember I told you I liked intelligence, right? Yeah, yeah. And I saw these men as intelligent. And so by being by moving into the conscious community, 
being green, we all start off green and everything. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't start off being real estate professionals. You had to start off green. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You had to get got a couple times, right? Yeah, yeah. Make some finesse, bad deals. Finesse, you know what I mean? Make some bad deals. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 that's how all part of the game. It's part of the game. Same thing happened with me because one thing they used to say in the car industry, which was a lot of dudes around there, they always say it's a new fool born every day. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a new fool born every day. And we all was fools and naive at one point. All of us was green. Mm -hmm. So in terms of dealing with in relationships and with men and in the in the conscious community and all that, I was green just like everybody else. And the first motherfucker to fuck over me big time was this nigga in the nation of Islam. You know, I'm thinking that we in a relationship or whatever, and he running pimp game on me. He running smooth pimp game on me. And so when you was this? Hot, like, when I you was like twenty. I, I was, this was maybe like 20, 2006, 2007. I was 20. I was 20 years old. Somewhere around in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm 37 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But anyway. With knowledge. Big energy. With big knowledge. energy. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> to make a long story short, and this money was student loan money. This was student loan money. Oh. That he got in your name? This was, it no. was my money. It got was like a refund kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was in my name, but mm. he pimped me out of it, right? Damn. Got me to give him money, send him money for this, uh, that. that. Okay. Whole ass nigga. Right, yeah. yeah. Fuck so, you. <laughs> this is how, this, this is part of the learn. This is the school of hard knocks. Yeah. So, I had that shit on my back all this for time. Years. For years. Mm. So, what he did to me in 2007 has been here with me since then. Damn. Okay, right? But to to wake up and be able to see that I made forty grand in one month, mm. right? Forty grand in one month. Yes. Yeah. I done, I, I done made what people have taken from me ten times over in a month. Yeah. Straight from a book. Straight from a book. From a book. From doing. From, so the book changed your life. Well, I won't say the book changed my life because the book could not have been written without my life. Got you. My mm. life changed my life. Got that's you. strong. Uh, that's, that's strong right there. That's powerful. That's strong right yeah. there. So, so exactly, what is the book about, and who is it catered to? Is it catered to men, women, or both? I don't even talk to men. <laughs> so you, you just hate men? Or no, what? it's men. You can't reason with them. Damn. You could try to talk to them, and it's like they don't this understand. Shit going one end yeah. or the other. One. What and you then say? you get to get you get. If you ain't talking about pussy, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> You give me pussy with ah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like money. Ah. Uh. What the hell? What the hell? I'm wasting my time. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So. What's that? What? Yeah, man. So excuse me. I ain't wasting my damn time. So, um, a nation can rise no higher than this woman. Okay? Damn. All right. Which means, so if you teach a man, you teach one person. You teach a woman, you teach a nation, right? Mm. The woman is the first Absolutely. teacher of the child. So, the, so here's the thing. Who do you talk to then? If, you, if, if a nation can rise no higher than this woman, that means the reason why the world is on the ground is because the woman is on the ground. Mm. That's the problem. So since that's the case, let me teach women because women clearly can't see what's going on. I can see what's going on. But they can't. And here's the thing. I'm a humanitarian. Yeah, I got my head knocked off. And I'm, I, 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 people, some people like to criticize me for my life experiences. But it's like I wear my life experiences as a badge of honor because the fact of the matter is I went through pure hell and I ain't never sold my soul for nothing. I ain't never sold no pussy. I ain't never sold no drugs. I ain't never fucked over nobody. I did everything that I done off my own motherfucking willpower. Mm. And no matter how hard it got for me, I still made it through. So I'm very proud of all of the things that I have experienced. And if I had to go back through it, I wouldn't change shit, right? And so, um, but a lot of women don't have the clarity that I have. And I see that women are suffering. I see that children are suffering due to women's ignorance. They don't know. So, because I'm a humanitarian and I care about the planet overall, and I know that women are a vital resource to this planet, in order to help the planet, you got to help women, mm. right? So I got to get women, I got to get women off the ground. I got to get women off the ground. They can't see what I can see. 
So I give them the wisdom. Now, the game that I have, I could char I could I could be a gold digger, right? Mm -hmm. I could be a dominatrix. I could literally dress up and talk the shit that I talk to men and and make men pay me for it. But that's a waste of my time because now I'm just playing a game and I could charge women thousands of dollars for what I know for them to play the game too. But who the fuck does that help? What does that change? It don't change nothing. We just, we're feeding into the dysfunction, right? Mm -hmm. When there's so much shit that we could actually be doing to add value to people's lives, why would I fuck it off on some bullshit game when I can just ch change women's lives for the better, right? Make them better mothers, make them better friends, right? Make them more empathetic better and wives. more value. No, fuck that. I don't know. <laughs> women need to be free. Being a wife ain't nothing but slavery. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, you woke some shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, so, if a man want a wife, then guess what? He needs to earn the, the, the rewards of being with a woman because women bring gifts, men bring problems. And mm. what 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 do women get in exchange? Here's the thing: if men if men brought so much to the table, mm -hmm. why isn't it praised for women to have more than one man? You know why? Because women don't you don't lose value because somebody giving you value. Mm -hmm. You only lose value when somebody taking something from you. So the more men it's tough, man. that's yeah. eating on you, the more value you lose because all these men come to take something from you. And once they done took so much, you ain't got nothing to offer. But women bring gifts. That's why a man's value goes up when he has a woman. Every woman he has I agree with that. goes. <laughs> right. So here's the thing. Who would be bitching if you had three of them necklaces on your neck? Nobody. Because that shit real. I can see. Right? Okay. <laughs> right? Uh, they be like, oh, yeah, she, he the man. That's real. You got three of them motherfuckers? Okay. Yeah, but if you had three necklaces <laughs> wrapped in shit. <laughs> right? Nobody would do that. Nobody would do that. Right? Nobody would do that. Right? Yeah, so. so yeah, I get it. But, so tell me this. Oh tell me this. One of the women that have gotten this book, this 41 Shades of Men, <laughs> I'm still tripping, man. <laughs> I gotta let wow. that breathe. <laughs> like, this what, is are the great. Women, huh? what are the women this is saying about this book? Like, what is what has been the feedback? What's the reviews? The reviews. Like? Man, like. I done changed women's lives. They didn't. In get, which way? Are they, for the better. Like, a, a, are, they they get, the, are they, they more lesbian? No, oh, they yeah. ain't confused no more. Like, the women were really confused. Men got power by women not having no clarity, moving the goalposts. Right? Mm. You say do this, do this, do that to keep a man and then the motherfucker still cheat on you, still gaslight you, still hurt you. Did your he, husband cheat on my, you? No. That wasn't the issue. My he, husband... Yeah, I just couldn't connect. No, because he, here's the, the issue he with me and my them. ex. Because I'm a straight up person, right? Yeah. I feel like my ex kind of manipulated me In what to way? get with him, right? So, <laughs> no, seriously, because yeah, yeah. at the outset, I was like, okay, I do... I do social media videos. Yeah. I do uh, Facebook and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I say, are you cool with that? Because I'm not going to stop doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. cool with it. Okay. I don't have no uh, major debt. What's your... Man, all that changed after I got married. What, first what thing, First thing is a bill, an IRS bill come in the mail, $6,000 with my name on it because of him. He owe I. Damn. Didn't reveal that to me. Pissed me off. Number two, <laughs> right? Instantly pissed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number two, he wanted me to stop doing what I love doing. He's making content. Making, making content. content. See, all of that stuff. Why would somebody have a problem with you making content? Because people He's like a to finesse control. control. People, everybody like it, you know what I'm saying? And then people had this thing that once they marry you, that you become their property. Like they mm. own, you cannot own me. And here's the thing, as much as shit as I done been through in my life. Yeah. Nigga, fuck I you. Got, I got, yeah. I built myself by myself with nobody's help. Nobody. I mean, nobody. At, at 35 or 34, whatever time, age I married, 
you're not going to come in after I done built, did, built myself up and then come and tell me what I can and can't do mm. to try to change me. Hell to the motherfucking no, because ain't nobody my daddy. You don't own me, and I'm not going to let nobody. And if this is what marriage look like, I don't fucking want it. Right? I don't fucking want it. Right? right? So you ended the marriage. Huh? Yeah, I ended you it. You said fuck right? that yeah, shit. Because, and then another thing, it was like, okay, so Damn. at that point, I got a baby, right? Yeah. And he was out because he had this idealistic way. You want me to stay at the house and raise raise the baby, and you want to go to work. I, I was a stay-at-home mama. I did not like that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I did not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to lose my career. I had to leave my career behind. And become a stay-at-home parent. I didn't like that. So then I started learning real estate. See, I'm a, when I say I'm going to do something, yeah, yeah. I'm a motherfucker that do it. Yeah. So I taught myself how to trade in the stock market. Mm -hmm. With all that time, I sat there and I... First, I wrote my first book when I was pregnant after I had to sit down. Mm -hmm. I wrote my Five Components of Love book, mm -hmm. pregnant. Then after I had the baby and uh, wasn't working, I sat down for like... 10 hours a day teaching myself how to trade currencies in the stock market. Mm -hmm. But I, it, ain't, it ain't like I had the money, the disposable money to just do it like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, but I taught myself how to do it. Then I also taught myself how to do the real estate game, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I would sit down for 17 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Damn. Seriously, 17 hours a day. And I would be going through videos, taking notes and everything. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I studied 17 hours a day for 30 days. And I, I said, okay, I'm going to do wholesaling because I ain't got no money to do all that other Absolutely. shit. So I started off wholesaling. So I learned how to do subject twos and I learned how to do the foreclosure. Oh, so shit. I went and got the foreclosure list and I put my baby who was only a couple months old at the time. Mm -hmm. I got in my car and I started riding around knocking on doors. Within two weeks of getting out there, my first deal was ten thousand. Oh, that, damn! That's, right. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The queen. The queen, the queen maker. maker. Yeah. Like we talking. Yeah. That's yeah. your bag so maker. That's 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 the type of drive and the work ethic that I have always had. Right. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna fucking do it, and I'm gonna push it to the. So I wanted him to participate and watch the stuff with me and do it with. Me. He ain't want to fuck he with it. He ain't want to do it. You want to watch TV and shit. And yeah. see, that shit was pissing me off because now I'm like, okay, you looking for Too me to yeah, yeah. be your retirement plan. Damn. Right, right? Like, I'm going to be doing all the work. And so that all of that stuff was compounded. Mm. Not so much that he was a bad person because he's not a bad person, but compatibility-wise well, and no. how it was impacting me as a person, it wasn't flying. With me. He drove you to women. Wow. No, he didn't. You draw you the women. No, no. The last two hmm. dudes. This one is in twenty twenty two. One, one was this is after the husband. This was after the husband. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, this twenty. Yeah, this twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, twenty one and twenty two. Right? Okay, okay. So okay. last year, this time, yeah, maybe. So, yeah. So it wasn't my ex husband because me and him still cool, and he already we already we already discussed why we ain't working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah. gotta and understand. We gotta understand. And a baby. And a baby, and we we cool. Mm. He's a good friend. <laughs> I don't have no problem with that, but yeah. we, we were not a good couple. Okay? Gotcha, gotcha. Right? Because if I'm gonna be a partner with somebody, I need somebody put doing what I'm doing. Yeah, Again, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted a man. You gotta level up me. together. I wanted me and a man, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the thing. Okay. All right, and I wanted my damn freedom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, just being real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Want my damn freedom, and uh, so no, nah, it was a dude that was supposed to be my friend. Damn. And um, this was interesting because he set me up for a period of about five years. Mm. He was he pretended to be my friend, but the whole time he had a plan to put in place to try to play me later on, right? Mm. So he wanted, we. his whole premise was that we was going to do a podcast together, mm. right? So he was trying to get me on a podcast thing and we was going to be partners. Okay? Gotcha, gotcha. Right. And so we set up business count all that stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. And 
when it came time to finally doing this shit, I noticed that I was doing all the work. Yeah, yeah. And this is how I figured out that he was trying to manipulate me and play me. Mm -hmm. I'm doing all the work, but this nigga gonna say, oh, uh, I chose you to do it because you was the best fit, but this is my stuff. Damn. Damn. <laughs> now we both put money in the in the the business account. Yeah. This nigga goes and takes the money, all of it, damn, and put it in his personal account. Whoa. And say, this is my money. Damn. Oh, how you yeah. felt about that? Hmm? How you felt about that? All he did was show me who men were, but damn. But hold on. Damn. Jokes was on him because that nigga owed child support. Oh, that God shit go. Don't, I, God don't like ugly. <laughs> so hit this motherfucker call me. Listen, that nigga, that nigga bank account got froze. <laughs> All of them. And he's like, well, what you do? <laughs> no, nigga, it ain't me. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah, did yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You played me. Yeah. They the took government. All this shit. Damn. And, and then look, look. When he when he was on the ropes, yeah. after you the after you done tried to play me. Yeah. Like you done got away. You thought you got away. Yeah, yeah. Now you come back like a sad puppy dog. Like, yeah, Priscilla, I'm sorry, you know, but I need nah. you to sign. I need you to sign. This lawyer gonna call you. She needs you to tell her that that wasn't my money. Nigga, who the fuck you? Damn. No, shit. I'm gonna charge the money to the game, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I put money in there, but you know what? Take it. They can have it all. Mm. Right? I walked away from whatever was in that account. Right? Yeah. Because what you not going to do is sit up here and play. And before that, he would always say some shit. He would always some say shit. questionable shit. Yeah. And I, and I would say, nigga, you think I'm your hoe or something? Yeah, like, yeah, Like, you yeah. think you pimping me or something? Because the word tracks was just... Did a, you did you, did you you communicate that or you let Yeah, No, I always communicated. It seemed like and, he would try, and he would try to be like... Like I'm the one tripping, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Got because you, got see, you. by by this time, manipulation. By this time, I done seen so much bullshit from niggas that I'm catching you now. Yeah, 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 yeah. By you this time, 36, 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, like, yeah. I done Experience. seen this shit. Motherfucker tried to set me up for motherfucker set me up back in 2014, 2015 for 2000. Right? Ran a hustle on me. He was supposed to fix my computer. No, he was supposed to fix a computer and he was supposed to be selling me a computer. Mm. Now, he had a computer shop. Yeah. I pay him for a computer and he never delivers my computer. Damn. But he would send me pictures saying I'm working on it now. So the nigga was playing me the whole time, basically got me for two grand. So this hustle been ran on me, okay? So four years later, four, five years later, here come this nigga. We supposed to be cool. How many, whatever, 20... He try to run the same game to say, I'm going to pay you your money back and then send me a, 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 a screenshot of some money that he's supposed to be getting. I say, nigga, I gave you my fucking money in my hand and I want the money back in my hand. Fuck what you say you getting, because if that's what you was getting, why the fuck you can't give me my money? Because see, you're trying to run a hustle on me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You're yeah. trying to run a motherfucking hustle on me. See, see, by this time, niggas done played so much game on me and me dealing with motherfuckers like they was legit friends, cool, and high-level people. I don't believe that shit no more. I believe men to be men, and now I see all the motherfucking game that y'all running. And so... Damn. That was that was number one. Got you. Uh, damn. That, that was number one. <laughs> this nigga, the na the the motherfucker that just said put the nail in the that, that he put the nail in the motherfucking coffin. <laughs> Done. This nigga was a millionaire. Damn. He had his own shit. Yeah. And the nigga was in competition with me, jealous of me. Now remember, I like him old. Yeah. This nigga was this nigga was in his seventies. Damn. Damn. Yeah. That's that's beyond old. Seventies, nigga. You and hell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. I got a question. What before you go too far? Hmm? He was seventy hmm? million now. Were y'all having sex? Yeah. How? Shit. Yeah. You ask him. <laughs> <laughs> you ask him. But no, no. Seventy. But, but, but he was on, dropping some dick. Not, not like no twenty year old. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, man. Hey, bro, like, he, he like, had to have all the things to have. Come on, Nicole. Anna, Nicole, I just had Smith, that. What, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, now. 
but shit. listen, but here's the thing. I'm still rolling on the mentality. <laughs> a that, 70 year old that's jealous of somebody. That's what I'm saying. How the like, fuck, how you jealous at this point? How, how the fuck you was in Vietnam, nigga? How the fuck was you still picking cotton at five years old? Okay. Yeah. Cause he told me a story about him picking cotton and shit. Yeah, yeah. And how shit was all different in, in Houston and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they used to give him a nickel for picking cotton and shit. That, I'm serious, the nigga that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nigga that old, right? <laughs> You this fucking old, <laughs> and you a millionaire, <laughs> and and it comes. You got your own company, and he's still in shape. Like Damn. he was still in shape, big, you know. Yeah. So he was, he was old, but you know, yeah, but he was shit he, work. He was an ex marine too. He a guy, guy, okay, okay. He, okay. he, he was, was in shape. shape. Yeah, he, he was in shape. shape. Ex marine, all that. Okay, nigga. <laughs> Damn, nigga. How in the fuck? Do you have an insecurity behind me so much to the point that he was trying to sabotage his own company to make my life a living hell? What? what? He Fuck. left one of his employees steal a gun out of my car. Yeah, it was that. He would fuck with my schedule, right? So you work for the company. Work for I, work, I work for him. And so his, th his thing was this. He wanted to. He wanted to control. He wanted. Yeah, yeah, he wanted. He to wanted to put me in a position where he felt like I needed him. Damn. So he would take me off the schedule because I wouldn't do what I wouldn't bow down. Like so you he needed the yeah. money. He but wanted he to put you in a position where needed, you needed the so money. The, so I quit the nigga. Right? No, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told him, "Fuck you." Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The nigga, I had the nigga ego so motherfucking bruised. Because I quit him and went to work for his competitor on the same yard. Damn. And that nigga had to look at me every day and couldn't even fuck. Yeah, it And it was a white man. Huh? It was a white man. No. I ain't never dated, I ain't never dated outside my race. Oh, okay. no, I'm talking about the, the competitor. No, it was a white Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That still quit. bruised his ego, though. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they fucked fuck him up. up. That nigga, mm. I didn't say nothing to the nigga, though. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> and that nigga, would have, that nigga would have people spying on me. Damn. Yeah. Go, yeah. <laughs> He would be uh, hiding behind trailers and shit trying damn, to get I'm telling the you. The most. No. Yeah, he would do the most. Yeah, yeah. He would yeah. do the most. But that, it, that was the straw that broke the camel's back because it's like this. It don't matter if they fucking old. It don't matter they tax bracket. It don't matter how the fuck they, gonna they look. They're going to do what they do. They're going to do what the fuck they do. And I'm tired of this cockamamie bullshit. Y'all can do it amongst yourselves. Oh you know what I want to know? And you got to promise you got to give me this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you got to give me this. I want to know if you're going to have the same message after five to 10 years with women. Pretty much, yeah. If, I, no, no, I want to know if come back. I'm saying, uh, are you going to be like, you know what? Fuck human beings. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fuck them niggas the man. entire species of you some bitches. <laughs> because what I'm thinking is all of the experiences mm -hmm. that you just explained to it's me. It's all for men, none for women. I'm, I, I don't. I, I think women gonna give her the same. I think it's gonna like be the same thing with women. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think women gonna get because women same gonna be thing jealous. On a different level, yeah. Women gonna be in competition. They wanna be in control. They gonna wanna be in control. They gonna wanna dictate how you move and where you go and who you talk to. Mm. They gonna have an issue with your social media they got and it. your popularity. They got an ego issue. They gonna have an ego issue and need that stroke. No, y'all dealing y'all talking about unconscious chicks who have been who have not been debugged. I'm not dealing You debugging with them. them. You debugging I'm them. You the I'm, leader. Yeah. So but, uh, ultimately, you going to be their man. I'm on well, y'all can call it whatever you want, but women, <laughs> women are dual. So we both have both masculine and female. I don't care how a person perceive me. I know yeah. I'm the boss though. Yeah. But I'm the motherfucking boss. <laughs> and at the end of the day, um I'm not fucking with no chick that ain't debugged. I'm not fucking with no chick that don't so have her own. she gotta be coachable. No, she got to, she got to be a boss in her field gotcha, too. Gotcha, gotcha. She, I don't want no. I don't want a dog. I don't want mm. a puppy. I don't need nobody. Need another to, boss. I don't need nobody to submit to me. I need somebody who is free and who has their own purpose in life, mm. and we can come together and it's peaceful. I don't need you to be my slave. That's what men need. They need ego stroking. I don't need ego stroking, right? Damn. I don't need that. Hey, man. I don't need no mama. You heard it here. 41 <laughs> Shades of Men. Where can people get... Yeah, where, where, where's the link? Yeah, where can they get this book? And what what do they... 
what what should the women who are looking at this podcast right now expect from this 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 work of art that you've created? Okay, well, you can get 41 Shades of Men at PrinceellaTheQueenMaker.com. And if you get this book, you will know every reason that a man is approaching you. And more than likely, every man that you've ever met is in that book. Right. It just enlightens you so that way you know how to move in the world, even if you're still going to deal with men. So basically, every woman needs a book. Yeah. They children, their daughters need it. So where could they find the book? Your Instagram, Amazon. Oh, you can find books it. Books a million. You can find it on princellathequeenmaker.com or you can find it on Amazon. Just type it in uh Google, 41 Shades of Men. So so any men need this book or just women? They don't need it, but they'll probably get it just to see if they in there. And, <laughs> like, they, and they might not even do that because a lot of them don't read. So like I, I said ooh. before. I ain't in the book. You hear me? So listen, we happy to have you here. It was a great conversation. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Yes, indeed. Yeah. She, had a little, she had a little stingy energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She, she didn't tell us how get she didn't tell us. She didn't tell us how she broke it down in the bedroom, but yeah. it's good. Yeah, man. Y'all ain't ready to do that. I'm ready. I'm ready. You, I, you I'm trying to hear. Paid? No. Okay, well, whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, y'all asked too many damn questions, man. You know I got that big dick energy, so if you want to know, let's see. <laughs> Somebody was whoa. talking. Listen. You threw me off with the pig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ain't no pig in it. No, yeah. no. Oh, mm -mm. shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. Listen. <laughs> You've tuned into another episode of No Stand Energy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, wherever you're watching. When you see you on the next one, make sure y'all follow Princella. Where could they follow you at? Oh, you can follow me at uh, The Queen Maker on YouTube or The High Power Podcast. You can follow me at uh, Princella The Queen Maker on IG and The Queen Maker Official on TikTok. Oh, it's actually The Queen Maker Official on IG as well. Make sure y'all women follow to get debugged so know what women <laughs> y'all dealing with. Men. With men. Yeah. With men y'all dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> and all I need is for Priscilla to come back in about five years, and I want to see. I want to see if, if she, she like, still, if she still if she like, like the women. Fish, yeah. She like cats or yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she still taco Taco Tuesday. Yeah. You know? That's it. Hey, <laughs> yeah. we see you on the next podcast. Yes, we out. Indeed. Thank Peace. Peace. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah, that shit was crazy. <laughs>